beautiful, elegant, friendly. What's the biggest misconception about uh, Antigua Barbuda? That is expensive. It's too expensive and they can't afford it. Um, we have a wide gambit of properties from the very high end, exclusive properties, five stars, which is Jumbi Bay, very, very high end, very exclusive, and to the small indigenous Antiguan owned uh, mom and pop um, inns, guest houses, particularly over in Barbuda, where you can really um, experience the destination on a budget, rent a car and get to the beach and, and um, have a vacation or a holiday that's suited to ev every pocket. Customers are changing, changes, we have more millennials and generation X's and um, you know, the, the younger, more experiential traveler who really wants something that's unique, um, something where you can have bragging rights about. Shirley's Heights um, on, on a Sunday afternoon. You go to the lookout and you have a beautiful panoramic view of historic English Harbor, Nelson's Dockyard, and you take that in with a sunset and you have one of the most iconic views in Antigua and Barbuda. That's a, a view really to die for. And so it's a great way to mingle and experience the local culture with our people and just um, number one on your bucket list when you get to Antigua and Barbuda. Um, and the weekends in Antigua and Barbuda, people tend to not to cook formally. So everybody goes out and buys something. But rather than going to a classy restaurant where you're going to sit down, just head out and then look at one of the, taking one of the roadside shacks that sells barbecue chicken, barbecue pigtail, and a lot of local Antiguan food that's really, really scrumptious or goat water, conch water. Um, it's like a stew and it's, 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 it's good stuff. It's wholesome and it really immerses you into the culture. And if you're a foodie, it's, 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 it's a must do when you get to Antigua and Barbuda. A walking tour of St. John's, you know, seeing historic um, St. John's Cathedral, which is um, a classic um, historic architecture from the 17th century. And just walk around town and um, see the, the current museum, which is the old courthouse, the, the market, um, which is vibrant as the typical Caribbean market goes, and um, enjoying some of the old colonial architecture and heritage key, um, Red Cliff Key where a lot of that's preserved and where you get a true essence of, of, of Caribbean culture and Caribbean architecture.